Hello, and welcome to another edition of True Audio Files. My name's Jim Carter. This time we're gonna do a shootout. This uh, shootout is going to be for probably one of my one of my favorite jazz albums, one that I just recently kind of discovered probably, I don't know, five years or so ago, and uh, it just blew my mind. It was unbelievable. And that is Charles Mingus, Mingus Ahum. So I've got four pressings that I am going to talk about in this one. I have a couple of others, but I feel that these are probably the best of the bunch. So first up is the, um, this is the original, the 6i stereo. This is an early pressing. Not sure if it's quite a first pressing, but it's very close. It's first or second, but see, uh, 6i stereo and uh, in really good shape. I mean, it even had a uh, demo for demo purposes only sticker on the second side. I don't know if that was a thing back in the, in the uh, early, late 50s. Maybe you guys can comment on that. It was a sticker. It wasn't a, um, you know, it wasn't a white label promo or anything. I don't know what the difference was or if that was just someone put that on there. Um, next up, is one done by ORG. This is a 45 RPM. This one was mastered by Bernie Grunman and it's a 45 RPM, so it's on two LPs. Next one is a music on vinyl. And I have to admit that usually I am not a big fan of the music on vinyl stuff, but this one was a pretty impressive one. And I'll talk about it a little bit later, but uh, it's a music on vinyl one that came out, no, I don't know, three, three, four years ago, maybe. Then the last one, last but not least for sure, is the new One Step that was put out by MoFi. This is, again, it's a 45 RPM and a better and newer process for getting the most accurate reproduction of the recording onto a record that you can get at the moment. And uh, I got uh, number 490. So... Is there a clear winner? Unfortunately, like my last Boston one, I would say no. Um, I would say if you're looking for the best sound stage um, and the best overall definition in terms of being able to um, really pick out the instruments the best, I would definitely say the one step is a slight advantage over the ORG. The one problem that I have with most of the newer uh, pressings, and I'm not sure, it seems like it's a different master. I don't know. Maybe someone can comment on that, but it seems like the hi-hat especially, um, but a lot of the cymbals in general are a lot more forward in these ones. Uh, especially the ORG and the One Step. And, uh, you know, I know that, that the there's definitely more high frequency both on those two of those two in comparison to the original one. There's no doubt about that. But it just seems like the hi-hat and other some other cymbals are just a lot more forward in those two specifically over the original. Now, I would say the original still sounds amazing. I mean, I, I definitely feel like the sound of the cymbals the best on that one. And, you know, it's got a good separation on it. Not quite as good as, uh, actually, the other three. Um, you know, it's it's a little tiny bit muddied, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty good. And I, I would say, um, for something that came out in 1959, it still, it just sounded amazing. So, full disclosure here, I basically only listened to two tracks, or one and a half tracks, really. But it was a uh, "Better Get It in Your Soul" and "Goodbye Pork Pie Hat." The reason I did that is because I just didn't want to spend four hours doing a shootout. I just didn't really have that kind of time. But I thought that it would give me a good sense of, you know, where I was going with it and what I was going to hear on the rest of the uh, album. But part of the reason why I chose. Um, listening to good, at least part of Goodbye Pork Pie Hat is because at the beginning there seems to be a little bit of distortion in what I think is the saxophone. And that is 
uh, it's on the right channel and it's very faint something that I notice mostly on not only the ORG and the one step but also because I hear it in the uh, high resolution audio version I have too so uh, maybe you guys know if it's a different master or something I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is but maybe you guys can tell me what the difference is there so that's the one thing I've noticed but uh, I mean there's definitely not as much high end on the original recording or original pressing cut of it but I think that's just sign of the times a lot of it but uh, you know and maybe that's part of the reason along with the fact that you know there's not as much you know uh, definition between different instruments on that version as well because I could actually have a, I had actually a hard time hearing uh, the saxophone in the right channel at the beginning of the the original pressing um, in comparison to the other ones anyways and again I think that might just be because of a combination of the better definition on the other ones and the more high high uh, frequency response that was uh, on the other ones so be that as it may uh my final analysis is uh this is i actually i when i want to say something that uh about the music on vinyl one especially uh, i really think that that one probably has the best overall treble between all three of them that you know the cymbals aren't quite as harsh sounding you know the hi-hat and things on that nature um although i would say then that the one step definitely has you know better mid-range uh and and the high end although again the hi-hats are a little harsh but you know the best mid-range overall is going to be on the 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 original early pressing no doubt because it's just kind of the way they were done back then but I would say overall, I would probably give you, if you want, if you don't mind, you know, some, um, you know, extra high end, I would say the winner is probably going to be the one step. One thing that I would say gives it that advantage is when I was really listening to them, the one interesting thing about the soundstage that I noticed is that on the ORG and actually the original one, the right channel, especially on on uh, the first song, you know, "Better Get in Your Soul," uh, is it seems like the instruments were lower. And like if I were to do a visual, you know, it would sound, you know, my, this is, <laughs> uh, you know, my my right and left, and I, basically. But basically, you know, you had kind of had a a sound stage where it kind of looked like sounded like this where with the one step it kind of was more even height wise which i kind of liked but it, like i said the interesting thing actually both actually on all the other three um the right channel in certain por portions sounded a little bit lower uh but definitely on the org and the one step they were definitely a wider sound stage you know went a little bit more beyond the speakers than uh, the music on vinyl and the um, original. But, uh, so yeah, I would say that would probably be the main reason why I would give the slight edge to the one step. Um, now, if you're wanting something that's just well-balanced and the sound stage, you know, isn't crucially important to you, uh, you know, it's just kind of a background listen thing, I think your best value is going to be actually either the original uh, early pressing or, you know, if you can find the music on vinyl one still, and I don't think either one of those are outrageously expensive. Um, I know that I bought the uh, first pressing or early pressing last year for around $30, so it's not outrageous. And it was in almost mint condition, so. So that's kind of my take. Um, I would love to hear what you have to say, what your thoughts are, especially if you have this album and you have all these different variations that I have. Uh, I do have a, I think it's a late or early 70s copy, which uh, I don't think is quite as good as these other ones, so that's why I didn't include it. It's not bad. I don't know if I've heard a bad copy of the Mingus, but anyway, uh, I would love to hear your take. i uh, love to hear what your thoughts are. If you have done a shootout like I have on this, I would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, if you liked what you see here, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you want to know when my new videos come out, please hit that alert bell and it will let you know when my new videos are released. Thank you very much and you have a great day.